Meanwhile, the Chinese government is reportedly preparing for another nuke test by North Korea with a major military anniversary coming up next week for the regime. In stark contrast, satellite pictures of the North's main test site shows workers playing volleyball. Guan Zhang delves deeper into the conflicting clues. China's leadership are bracing for a nuclear test by Pyongyang next week. That's according to Chinese news site Boshun, whose sources say the government considers the most likely time for a test to be around April 25th, the 85th anniversary of the foundation of the Korean People's Army. There had been speculation that a nuclear test was going to take place last week to coincide with another important anniversary, the 105th birthday of the regime's late founder, Kim Il-sung. But that date came and went, although a failed missile launch did take place a day after. A sixth nuclear test by Pyongyang has been expected for a while now. U.S.-based monitoring group 38 North has been detecting increased activity around the Pungeri test site for the last month. But the latest satellite imagery shows a somewhat unusual site, groups of workers playing volleyball. The images picked up three different locations around the facility where games are being played. And according to an expert from 38 North, that either suggests the site is going to standby mode well, that's a deliberate ploy to confuse the U.S. and others. But despite this, the South Korean government reiterated that the world always needs to be ready. We believe that North Korea can carry out a nuclear test at any time. Therefore, whether they were playing volleyball or whatever they were doing, I don't think it's an important factor as to whether they will test a nuke or not. Meanwhile, the Chinese foreign ministry spoke out against the recent aggressive rhetoric coming from Pyongyang. Earlier this week, a senior North Korean official said in an interview that the regime will test nuclear weapons on a weekly, monthly and yearly basis if necessary. Beijing urged all parties to tone down their provocative language and work towards de-escalating tensions. Kwon Zhang-ho, Arirang News.